I don't think I've ever recorded this one. beloved rests upon a writing desk. My atonement begins there. All right. All righty. It's been a long time since I've done this quest. All right, this is the library. I remember that. Arson still by series, I remember. Bitch! I was reading. I was reading a book. You bitch. Now shove up. Oh, for the love of ale! Come away! God, can a cat just get a reading? They're piss off. God, reading. Demon from the East. Yeah, this is about uh, a love baller who factors into the uh, Dragon Hold uh, uh, DLC, which is what opens up something elsewhere.
interestingly enough, that Khajiit do worship her scene under a different name for it, but still. I think it's Adatha or stuff like that, I think. doing here have you come to plunder what remains of our Academy it matters little whatever indignities you plan to visit upon these halls will pale against the curse I put on them I am Jano Invel Imperial battle mage and spellcraft instructor and yes I wrote that letter what is this about after 20 years of imprisonment, I won't suffer idle conversation. Speak plainly or leave. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, Katina Garana sent me. Her mother, her, Honoria, gave her this necklace. Do you recognize it? Garana? By the eight. Yes. I recognize both the name and the locket. That piece of jewelry was to serve as the focus for a soul warding spell. We meant to use it to keep us safe from the flu. But then Honoria left, taking the necklace with her. Mention a curse. Could this locket break it somehow? I hesitate to hope. But yes. Yes, perhaps it could. After Honoria left with the locket, I attempted to craft new focuses totems made of Honoria's treasured objects. All three attempts failed. And the result? Well, look around. That locket should guide you to other totems bound to the same spell. You must destroy those corrupted totems. They bind our souls to the failed warding ritual. Once they're destroyed, return to me with the locket. Then I can mend what's broken. Tell about this warding spell. You will think less of me for having used it. The ritual binds souls, much like a soul gem. Unlike a soul gem, it also binds flesh. So long as the focus of the ritual remains intact, the bodies and souls of those touched by the spell remain as well. Spells that affect the soul always carry risk. My love, my partner, Honoria, Seemed certain that the locket would serve as a potent focus. I gave it to her, you see. It belonged to my mother, and her mother, and so on. It carries emotional potency. The warding ritual relies upon strong bonds, bonds between people. Our fondness for one another, and our shared relationship with the locket made it the perfect focus. But then, she left. Yes, a totem of comparable value. I tried to use items precious to her, things she'd abandoned, but none of the items carried the necklace's weight. The bonds proved too weak. Each time I cast the ritual, the curse grew more severe. Not immediately. One by one, they fell to the flu. The spell proved too weak to protect their flesh but too strong to let it pass. Now their souls and corpses remain, tortured. She had doubts, certainly. We all did. But at a certain point, it seems she lost faith in the ritual completely. I was furious at first. I even called for her to be arrested on charges of desertion, or would have, 
that I sent that letter. No great surprise there. That was the longest, most agonizing night of my life. I never sent the letter, though. I didn't have the heart to. The warding spell makes them nearly impossible to break through conventional means. But the presence of the locket will make the spell unstable. Hold the necklace near the totem, and it should collapse into arcane vapor. This is spellcraft, not mathematics. Should is the best a battle mage can offer in terms of assurances.